Hey guys, how's it going? This is Khan and welcome to a Monster Hunter video. Um, uh, this is the first time for me to do a Monster Hunter video this way, but I'm going to try my best to give you the information that I learned from the Monster Hunter live stream that just happened uh, probably about an hour ago. Uh, it was all in Japanese and it gave me a good excuse to uh, practice my Japanese and try to figure out what was going on. Uh, I pretty much understood about, I'd say, maybe 70, 75 to 80% of it. Uh, they did have some things that had some English in it, so I'll post those things as we get to them. But there are a lot of big changes coming with this new update, and the new update is going to come out next week. It's going to come out actually on the 22nd, which will be a Thursday to be exact. And yeah, there are a lot of things that I guess a lot of you want to know about, including uh, weapon balance balance changes, um, new quests, monsters, uh, cosmetic changes, all kinds of stuff. So why don't we get started and talk about what's coming up new in the, uh, I guess, title update for Monster Hunter World. All right, guys, so with this new update, uh, again, as I said in the intro, it was a lot of Japanese. Uh, if you could, do not understand Japanese at all, be sure to come back to this channel. I, I'll try my best to hook you guys up uh, whenever they have these kinds of updates, if it's possible or if there's enough requests for it. Um, if this video does well, then yeah, I, I'll try and do more of these for you. Uh, yes, I do live in Japan and yes, I do speak a bit of Japanese. So uh, the reading bit is a little bit more difficult for me than the listening, uh, but I will try and do my best and help you guys out if you are hyped about Monster Hunter World. So first of all, the new big update is coming out next week, Thursday on uh, March the 22nd, 2018. Um, it's going to start with a, a kind of floral design. They have a lot more flowers and they're going to have like fireworks and stuff like that. Um, pretty soon in Japan, there's going to be uh, the, the turnover for spring. Spring, uh, if you don't know about Japanese culture, spring basically is kind of the, the fresh start and the like new beginning of a lot of stuff. Uh, people change jobs in, in the spring. School years start in the spring. Uh, everything big kind of happens in the spring. Hanami, which is uh, basically like flower viewing in parks and stuff where people basically have a reason to get drunk, uh, go and <laughs> go down uh, in the spring. And spring is like a really like popular, probably one of the most popular seasons uh, in Japan. So this is a kind of refresh and a, a very big update. And it's kind of a refresh for, you know, for the country in, in general. So What's coming with this new update? Well, number one, to get started, uh, the login bonus, you're going to be able to get two login bonus items before you could only get one when you logged in. And you will also have uh, a chance to get a special daily item bonus as well. So that's going to be something new. Uh, next, the area of the food has kind of changed. If you look at the food, it's going to be having a little bit more flowers and some other stuff. And the, just the design of the food uh, when you order food before your missions has changed a little bit. So you'll be able to see something new and different to kind of go with the rest of the changes visually that have happened uh, throughout the game. Um, next, they are going to give away some free hairstyles. So if you are looking to change up your look, uh, you'll be able to get some new uh, hairstyles and all that other stuff. Also, if you want to change up your look, they are going to be giving away a free ticket uh, so that you can go to the PlayStation Network. They didn't say anything about Xbox. Uh, it might be a Japanese thing as they kind of focus more on PlayStation, but they did say that you'll be able to download a ticket and you'll be able to use that ticket to change your character completely. So if you made any mistakes or if you want to change uh, from a male character to a female or vice versa, you'll be able to do that completely, change the audio sounds of your character's voice, whatever, you'll be able to change all of it kind of like from scratch, but you'll still be able to keep your hunter rank and everything like that. You'll just be able to change uh, what your character looks like. And that is also going to be coming uh, as a, an extra download. You'll have to go to the store to download that. And then uh, you'll be able to get one free ticket and yeah, change up your character if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to, as the, the director said uh, in the video. 
All right, so getting into uh, the next part of what was really important about the live stream, uh, the balance changes that are happening with the weapons. So instead of trying to go over every little weapon, I'm going to put something uh, up in, I guess, this side. Yeah, over here. I'm going to put something up over here, uh, a screen cap from uh, the live stream, and then uh, let you guys see it for yourself. There is some English underneath it, so you can check it out. You can pause the video if you like to read it for yourself. But I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of each of the, the, the weapons and just kind of let you know if it got buffed or nerfed. The majority of the weapons did get a buff or some kind of buff, so let's just get started. So first of all, um, the Great Sword. Uh, the Great Sword got a bit of a buff uh, to damage. It's got an attack damage buff um next the long sword the long sword got an ease of use buff from uh some of the things that they added to this uh with the foresight slash and stuff like that um next the sword and shield got an attack damage buff and a bit of a utility buff uh, when it comes to the wedge beetle and being able to use that while the weapon uh, is drawn. Next, the hammer got quite a bit of stun buffs. So yeah, you'll be able to get more stun out of the hammer. So that's pretty good. Uh, the hunting horn got a damage buff uh, for, I guess, the self uh, song or whatever the song is to kind of buff yourself up you'll get even more damage or you'll get a damage buff to that um also the gun lance got a little bit of a prolonged use kind of buff and it got a damage buff uh they have some just just read yeah it's over here read over here uh you'll you'll see it's it's just about uh the sharpness uh that they talked about also the damage parameters uh if you're using yellow or worse um and some other things and then also the two different types of cannons are getting a, a damage increase so uh, it looks like a, a slight buff um and you can you, you should be able to use it a bit longer with decent damage but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes once the update actually drops next is the switch axe the switch axe got a little bit of a utility uh change uh, kind of buff and then it got a bit of a, a damage buff um and i'll i'll leave that i'll i'll i keep doing i keep going the other way it's over here all right so i'll just leave that up there uh and then you guys can check that out and and, and read it for yourself uh there's some of the english is is worded a bit weird in some of these but you'll kind of get the idea of it and yeah i'm gonna leave it at that so next, uh, we're getting on to the charge blade. Now, I like using the charge blade. So uh, honestly, I think this is a little bit of a nerf, but in some places it did get a bit of a buff. So it got a slight buff to sword. Uh, if you're using sword, uh, it is, it's going to be okay. But uh, it got a nerf in axe. Axe got nerfed a bit, uh, especially when you're talking about the super amped elemental damage that got a bit of a nerf uh, i'll leave that up there it should be here yeah it's uh, up here and then uh, yeah you can check that out uh the the little glaives with the bugs and stuff um they got a little bit easier to use and uh managing time with uh getting those buffs uh when you use it uh has been a little bit easier so it, it has gotten a buff in that respect the lance uh looking at the comments in the actual live stream from the Japanese players, they were all happy to see that the Lance uh, got this, I guess, invincibility for, for whatever the, the counter thrust or however the knockback or whatever the knockback is 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 gone or whatever uh they everybody was happy about that and they even joked about it during the live stream so it was it was pretty funny uh but yeah that that has been fixed so yeah that's that's a buff everybody seems happy about it i don't use the lance but it's a buff um so next the demon gauge for the dual swords uh the time management for that is is been better uh, is what it says been kind of easier to manage and they fixed some bugs with that uh so that is a buff definitely um and then moving on the bow and arrow there weren't any real fixes it's just been more bug changes uh bug fixes no changes just bug fixes and then the light bow gun and the heavy bow gun they didn't change anything at all
Also during the live stream, they showed off a great sword that was, uh, I guess, a contest design. I'm not sure who designed it. I, I didn't do the research on that one. I just saw it. Um, and yeah, it looked pretty cool. It was this kind of, uh, I don't know, like not so Monster Hunter-ish style weapon. Uh, that was what they said during the live stream was that the weapon looked kind of out of place. Like it wasn't from a Monster Hunter game. Typically it was... It had like a jet on the back of it, and it was a really uh, heavy looking great sword. It looked pretty cool, um, and you will be able to do a quest to get that. But uh, somebody designed it, and it was the winner. So uh, that was before Monster Hunter came out. They, they had that promo running, and yeah, that made it into the game during this first, uh, this first update. So the next thing to talk about um, for that that kind of happened during the live stream was they showed off a couple of new quests. Uh, particularly, they showed off the uh, Mega Man quest uh, and and the Mega Man skins for the Palico. Uh, they they looked all right. Uh, they they looked pretty cool. Um, but yeah, they'll have uh, some special quests for that. I think it's called the in Japanese. It's called the uh, Dai So Do quest or, or rush sorry rush daiso do quest um i don't know what daiso do is I, I just know what the characters the chinese characters look like uh but one cool thing about this rock man skin during that quest uh for for the event the special event um depending on what kind of weapon you have you'll have different kind of 8-bit style music which was pretty cool and, and kind of kind of fun. I was really happy to see that. They jacked up the old dog. The Odegaran got really wrecked. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, you're going to fight two Odegarans in that in that little uh, event quest. And uh, one of them will be normal size and then the other one's going to be like huge. So it's going to be a pretty pretty fun fight if you like fighting those. If you don't like fighting the Odegaran, um, I, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, yeah, it, it seemed all right. So uh, yeah, that should be pretty cool. The Devil May Cry. A lot of people are talking about Devil May Cry and Dante. Um, the one thing they did not really talk a lot about that, but the one thing that they did say that there was no English about was that um, the hair and the costume for Dante will be something that you can choose. So I guess the hair is going to maybe be the, the helmet type piece. And then the coat is going to be something else. It said you'll be able to mix and match some of those things. So we'll see how that goes. But they aren't really giving a lot of information about the Devil May Cry stuff just yet. But that was one thing that they did say in Japanese uh, on on the site. And they also said that the Nightmare Gun would also be part of, I think, his slinger. So it would probably fit on his arm or something like that. That was something that they were mentioning. Uh, although the guy who was talking about it didn't remember the actual name for the Nightmare Cannon Gun type thing. So we'll see how all of that goes uh, once they announce it. Uh, I'll, if they do say something about it, I'll just come back here. I'll try and have something for you guys. Uh, with some a bit of information on that the next thing uh, and I guess the last thing that may be important for most of you uh, is the devil Joe uh, that the devil Joe monster looks awesome it's huge uh, they kept talking about how muscular it was and how big it was and it's basically the bully uh, it just eats everything it attacks everything it eats everything and during the live stream it fought uh, Beetlejuice and that was hilarious uh, it just it was like the battle of the two party crashers. It was it was just pretty cool. Um, I won't get too much into that, but I will give you the, the little bit of information on uh, what happens with Devil Joe. So you'll have to finish the the question mark quest for uh, the Rathian in the main story. And then after you complete that, uh, you'll unlock a special quest for Devil Joe and then Devil Joe will. Ra I, they didn't say randomly, but he will invade is what the word that they put in. So I don't know how often it's going to happen, but he will invade uh, level six and level seven star um, quests. And he will also invade high ranking expeditions. So just that's how you get him to come out. He will have his own armor set and he will have some weapons, uh, a weapons tree as well. So you can look forward to farming him for that. Um, and then the other stuff that they talked about were just events that were going on in Japan, uh, namely the Harajuku 
um, which is in Tokyo, kind of a multiplayer spot hangout uh, event type thing where people can actually, what he was talking about was people can take their PlayStation uh, save data uh, and then bring it to the event. And then you can use your Hunter and play with other people. They're giving away some, some stuff as well. Um, it looks pretty cool. I'm thinking maybe if I can uh, get a couple of my other homies that I play Monster Hunter with to go, uh, we might be able to go out there and, uh, yeah, I, I might be able to do some video out there if they let me record. And uh, maybe I'll be able to show you guys what it's like to go to one of these Japanese Monster Hunter events. If you're interested in that, leave a comment down below. Let me know you want to see that. Be sure to hit the like button on this. And, yeah, let me know down below if you'd like to see a video on what's it like to go to a Monster Hunter event in Tokyo uh, if you if you can't go and if you're a, a fan of Monster Hunter. Now, the other thing is they're also having another event uh, for a bar in Shinjuku, which is not far from Harajuku, um, where you can have Monster Hunter drinks and food and stuff like that. I don't know if they'll be selling any goods, but that stuff is also going to be there. Uh, and then they're going to have a Monster Hunter championship, which is going to be all throughout Japan. There's a lot of events and stuff going on with Monster Hunter. It's really taken off here in Japan. So if you want to know more about the stuff that's actually going on here in Japan, uh, again, be sure to uh, subscribe and all that other good stuff. And I will try my best to uh, get that stuff to you if you are interested in it. Just leave a comment down below and let me know. Now, before we go, I know I was about to take off, but before we go, I did want to add this in there um, because I know quite a few other streamers slash youtubers who maybe are not that good at japanese uh or maybe didn't even stick around to the end uh may have missed this but uh the the the, guy, the main guy in charge dropped a bomb and said that uh this update number one is coming out on uh, you know next week on the 22nd but he also said jokingly but it didn't seem like he was really joking. He said it kind of uh, spared a moment jokingly that the next big update is going to come out next month. Now, you can take that with a grain of salt. But when I look at the reaction of uh, the main guy who was doing the play testing and who was kind of in, tr in charge of controlling the characters and showing off the new stuff, he looked pretty sad. <laughs> and that was the sad reaction and face of somebody who has to work very hard to meet deadlines. Um, the, the guy in charge, uh, you know, he, he said what he said and everybody was really shocked. And a couple people were saying in Japanese, um, you, you really said that you, you let it out. You, you let that, you leak that information it was basically what they were, that they were saying. And he was just like, you know, kind of sweating for a second. Then he's like, oh, no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But, yeah, when they panned to the wide shot and the guy who was holding the controller, if you looked at his face, he looked like, damn. <laughs> it was, it was kind of messed up. But at the same time, you know, we might see the next big update from Monster Hunter next month. Um, that... I can't say that it's confirmed, but that was what, you know, what he said. So, hey, if that's what it is, then that's what it is. But anyway, um, I'll leave it at that. It was, hopefully it will be next month. And I will leave it at that. I don't want this video to be too long, but I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, um, let me know. And I'm Khan, and I will catch you guys later. And I'll probably be streaming some Monster Hunter uh, Friday. So I'll see you guys in, and yeah, until then, I'm gone. Take it easy. Peace. Oh.